servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Hi, I'm Nerdwords. We're playing Elden Ring. This is my first playthrough of the game. Um, I got a laugh out of this guy as soon as I heard his name. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Bertie, grant me sucker. Okay, so ah, I'm going to talk to him. Lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but um, no. The help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young tarnished, I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! and plumb man to boot, simply obsessed with blood. So Kenneth Height, uh, spelled H-I-T-E, is a game designer who has written books for Dungeons and & Dragons and quite a few other systems, uh, tabletop role-playing game systems. He also writes essays, uh, or he used to, I don't know if he still does, where he would talk about um, things that happened in history and how you can use those things from history as elements uh, in your own role-playing game sessions and how you could world build using historical things. You basically do deep dives into things, in, into things that have happened all throughout history and then say, well, there's also these conspiracy theories because nobody really knows what happened here or here. And these are things that you could adapt to your your own Dungeons and Dragons campaigns and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know if this is truly a, a character that is referencing that game designer, or maybe it's a parody of him. Uh, it's kind of interesting, though, that this guy is nobility. He has a golden hue to his skin and his hair, and he claims to be the rightful ruler of a castle to the south which we might be able to just barely see on the horizon here. That might be it. I don't know. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to the south, beyond the mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Oh, yes, now allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Honestly, Godric's nothing more than a jumped up country bumpkin. Lord? Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, <coughs> only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse. And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. You almost wouldn't know it to look at him. I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. That's a little bit of interesting background dialogue. What are you waiting for? My fault lies... Okay, so I think he's going to repeat himself now. That is an entirely interesting character. I love I love this guy. I hope it's a reference to Kenneth Height because uh, that would just... <clears throat> that would explain a whole lot more about both uh, Miyazaki's uh, writing when it comes to designing Dark Souls and also the involvement of George R.R. R. Martin because George R.R. R. Martin is known to have played a lot of D&D &D in his day. Um, <clears throat> the original 
idea behind Game of Thrones uh, came from a D&D campaign that he was GMing. And George R.R. R. Martin used to edit a series of superhero novels called the Wild Cards series. And in that series, there were a lot of characters that were like um, superheroes that, if you have played any superhero role-playing games from like the 80s, were like very clearly like made they were like written up on a character sheet or something like that because they all had these disadvantages that um, were balanced with their abilities oh didn't didn't think I was within attack range from that guy That's right, I switched my... Nice. Okay. Three hits and these guys are dead. They're a little faster and jumpier than the mad soldiers I've encountered, but they're they're still fairly weak. <laughs> I didn't want to fight all of them at once, but uh, clearly um, I'm not having a problem taking them all on. Even their big guys. Magic Grease! That's the first time I've seen this, so I'm excited. <laughs> Magic Grease! Is that a... That's not a crafting thing. Oh. It's a consumable, it looks like. Yeah. Coats armament inflicting magic damage. Oh, cool. Solidified grease made from a mixture of magically resonant materials. Coats armament adding magic damage to attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. That is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a backstab on this guy who's patrolling. I want, kind of really want him to turn around. Okay, he turned around. Let's get him. We're gonna get him. I did not get him. And I alerted all the other guys. Great, that's exactly what I did not want. But I still recovered. I still recovered from it. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I have a frog in my throat today. Okay. Oh, there's a giant down there. Fuck. Okay. I guess I can't really follow the road unless I want to cross paths with that giant. I'm going to have to go around him. I don't want to fight a giant unless I'm really close to some grace. Oh, cool. I wonder if there's a cave over there. Kind of looks like there might be. Ruins! Maybe there's grace over here. There's another beach. And another lake. Okay. There's grace! <clears throat> there's grace, and there are shinies. Shit, what did that say? The third church of something? Third church of Marika. Uh, I have something... Remains in the third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and fall. Okay. So one of these is the flask of wondrous physique. Sacred tear. Is 
sacred tear, improve sacred tears, sacred flasks potency. Blessing of the Erd Tree, worshipped in the Church's Ball Lands, increases the potency of a sacred flask's restorative effects. During the age of the Erd Tree, these tears were used to spread the faith, for theirs was once a certain blessing. Um, um, this must be the flask. Flask of wondrous physique. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor Erd Trees and elsewhere throughout the the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the Flask of Wondrous Physique. This will allow you to create elixirs with various custom effects. Cool. Crystum, crimson Crystal Tear and the Flask of Wondrous Physique. Um, I am going to use that right now. Yeah. With this menu, you can mix two crystal tears. Restores half of maximum hit points. That's pretty powerful. Um, I guess I don't have any other. Oh. A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Okay. Cool, cool. Talk to Melina. Melina. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Shall I turn your roulette my hand? Share yes. them with me. Uh, I still need thoughts, about 1,600 more. Your ambitions. And I think strength will be the next one to go up. Sort chest. Okay. I, I'm not going to do that yet because I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm going to take this off. I'm going to switch these uh, around, I think. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Summons Noble Sorcerer Spirit. Spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Raya Lucaria in, to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown. However, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. You know what I just noticed? I just realized, because uh, I was thinking about using the, uh, switching out what I summon, I was just remembering that you can't summon, uh, you can't summon guys when you have multiplayer. And I'm like, oh, did I, I didn't log in. I haven't been seeing any messages. I haven't been seeing bloodstains. Um, so I'm going to do that really quickly. I have it. I have the default set to stay offline. So. But once I got out of the tutorial area, I wanted to be. I wanted to play online. So. <clears throat> I wanted to be able to see bloodstains and messages, and I think that's been affecting my gameplay too, because I'm like, I don't, not seeing any of that stuff. So. Am I online? Because I don't see anything yet. <clears throat> oh, I do, I am online, because now I have messages in multiplayer. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think the uh, circle button, it gives you a boost of speed, but it doesn't necessarily... Aha! 
There's a crab here. <laughs> it's like, how dare you pick on my little brother? There's no cave here, though. And there's another crab. And there's another crab. Okay. Well, get back to the road. I want to stay... Oh my gosh, he's following me. He is really following me. far from the road am I? I just went over the road. This is the road. Okay. I want to stay on the road until I find something that looks like a map fragment. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Oh, there's a bear there. Oh, footsteps. He's saying, go fight the bear. I don't want to fight the bear. I'm probably too far away for that to do anything. Yeah. That was kind of a waste. Oh, he's still going down there. Ooh, that did a lot. Okay, I'm not going to be scared of this guy. Hefty beast bone! Okay, I'm going to... replenish some of my health here. Or my focus. My focus! Oh, is this a map fragment? Map, Limgrave East. Nice. Precious item ahead. Okay. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Oh, he's not he's not even paying attention to me. He's doing his own thing. That's cool. Uh, I don't see anybody around to f mess with me, so I'm going to take a look at my cookbook that I just picked up. It was Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 4. Fetid Pot. Roped Fetid Pot. Okay. So... Pot. Fetid pot. Throw at enemies to cause buildup of deadly poison. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> a cocktail of effluence is sealed inside as the mixture ferments. Toxins are produced alongside a putrid stench that seeps out once right. Throw at enemies to call, bu cause buildup of deadly poison. Beware, though, those who carry these pots will slowly accumulate poison in their own bodies. Push someone in a privy, expect to get dung on your hands. So, gold-tinged excrement <laughs> and mushroom. And a pot, obviously. There's another shiny down there. Is he going to aggro on me if I... Oh, there's a guy, though. Thin beast bone. Oh, there's a couple guys. Okay. I do not want to mess with the giant bear. First off, monster. Yeah. There's blood stains here, which makes me think that there's a boss fight or something in there. Oh, 
Or maybe it's just people jumping down. Tranquility ahead. Okay. There's no... There's... Doesn't seem to be any information around here. It sounds like something is shimmering, though. Mushroom, it's not that. I don't think it's that scarab because those scarabs, I think, I don't think make that noise. Minor Erd tree. Oh, I'm right next to a minor Erd tree. Could this be a tree? Tarnished golden sunflower. Tarnished golden sunflower. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna collect these. I don't remember what I used these for. <laughs> Fire grease. Holy water. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm that's why I'm looking for them. I want to make the holy pots. Wow, look at all of them. There are a ton of them. Didn't expect tear. Spiked, cracked tear. I'll have to look at that the next time I'm at. Next time I'm at some grace, I'll have to look at that. Golden Room. Yeah, now I'm... Now I'm really curious to know how often um, how often these crafting materials replenish in the world. Seek a river. Beautiful, required ahead. So this might be death. There were a lot of blood stains there. I might go down, this is a boss fight, and you just die right away. <laughs> or something. Whoa, how deep is this thing? Oh my god. Wow. It is the underworld. We have an overworld and an underworld. It's pretty amazing. Well, I totally understand why there are blood stains because people just probably fall off that stuff and come down here. Seek River, Siafra River. And there's Grace. Could this be an item? Um. Well, it would be really nice if your message wasn't, like, right up against it. And that is probably the main reason why I never play online, because I don't like seeing messages that are, like, useless. 
Stars, stars. Behold the light. Oh, do kissed Herba. I'll look at that in a second. Melted mushroom. I'm gonna look at it right now. Do kissed Herba. Found in and around the eternal city, a herb that grows in the false night, soaked in arcane dew. It gives off the faint glow of starlight. And melted mushroom. It drips with a viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. Wow. Golden rune. Nice. I can use... I can use torrent here. Ghost Glove Wart. Could this be an item? Summoning other players, use Fur Crawling Finger Remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Ghost, gold signs indicate an ally, red signs indicate an adversary. Huh. Thought I already had something like that. I, uh, <clears throat> okay, so that's just a light. I don't necessarily want to be here exploring for too long. Because I wanted to explore up above. More golden rooms. Blood stains. There's blood stains right there, too. Ill omened creature. Yeah, sometimes the blood stains don't don't actually populate. Oh, there's a lot of them up there. That did not do a lot of damage to that guy. And he's moving slowly. <laughs> Which would suggest he don't give a fuck. That didn't do a lot either. Oh my. I can get a backstab on. That's pretty cool. Didn't do a lot of damage, but... Wow, he's like all sludgy. Okay. Try circling around, and then why is it always rump? <laughs> Try guard counter. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. 
There's also a shiny up there, so I'm going to try and run for it. Smithing stone. Level four smithing stone. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to come back here when I'm higher level and I have better gear. You can't make me play. Oh, wait a second. A new map has been found. I can't teleport to the overworld. Interesting. Well, now you know. Go back up. I wonder if I found more grace in the underworld, if you can teleport in the underworld. I'm just going to take a look. Show above ground. Show underground. Yeah. You can go back and forth. Multiplayer zones. That's That's cool. Okay. This must be the castle that Kenneth Height wants us to liberate. So we're just going to keep going up. Man, this is a long ass elevator. Siafra River, River Well. Oh, and up above it is nighttime. So, <clears throat> if I get back on the road, wow, he's just a. Uh, Scratching away at that tree. Wolves. There are wolves nearby. Gold tinged excrement. For the most part, I'm staying on the road because I think that. <clears throat> Most of the landmarks and things would be visible from the road. All the things that you will want to interact with will probably be visible from the road. Open for business. What does that mean? There's like a ghost guy down there. Oh, there's a, there's a merchant. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way, right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium, please. I'm hungry. Festering bloody finger? Oh, great. <laughs> this is the guy that you gotta find in order to uh, invade people. Blue gold kite shield. A standard medium-sized metal shield, highly reputed for its solid build. The design represents the Erd tree foregrounded against a blue sky. Well... I have the stats for it, and this is probably better than the shield I'm currently carrying. Trina's Lily. I think I found one of these already. I think Trina's arrows. Powerful sleep effect. Okay. I am going to buy the shield. Um, and I'm going to have to come back here when I have 3,500 to get these cookbooks. Exalted Flesh Beast Lure Pot. See if I have anything to sell. Oh yeah, I picked these up earlier and I didn't even look at them. Preparation of dried Rimara, feed to torrent while riding to vastly restore us hit points. 
Okay. And yeah. Runes, I think you sell them for the exact same amount that you would just pop them for. Ruin fragment. Um, I don't know what else to sell. I'm gonna sell these because I never I never use crossbows. It's just not my style. Caden gauntlet. Caden trousers. I don't really have anything else. Ah, oh, how nice of these. Ah, oh. oh, how nice of you, these. I am going to purchase one of these. Hmm. Okay, I'll get this one first. Just because Beast Lore Pot seems more like I might make it before I might make Exalted Flesh. I need 88 runes. So. Oh, just go to pots, right? Beast Lure Pot. Hefty Beast Bone and Beast Blood. Things that I have not found yet. Throw to create a red shadow. The illusion lures in beasts into attacking it. The effect does not change even during combat. Enchanted with assassin incantations. Interesting. Oh, there's a, a bear there. There's also a skull right here. Okay. Let's stay on torrent. Okay, now I can go back and get that other cookbook. Ah, uh, how nice of you, please. And now I can make exalted flesh. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but I can make it. We're gonna find out. Exalted Flesh. Oh, I could actually make it right now. I have the ingredients for it. Temporarily boosts physical attack. Considered a delicacy in the Badlands, this invigorating repast was for the exclusive benefit of those who they deem heroes. And this thing just fell to the ground? Like, I just saw it fall, which must mean that it comes from the tree? Wow, so all of those skulls that I've been cracking open and getting runes from are coming from the tree. Two hundred. That's kind of that's kind of macabre. <laughs> I don't know what that bird is because its eyes are glowing. It's oh, it's an owl, right? Okay. Slumbering egg. And then I know we've got a group of demi humans down here. Hero ahead. The demi-humans wax wroth, now their mother's been taken. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The knight bedeviled by blood. Time for head. Oh. Lovely. I... they don't seem to be guarding anything other than the road, so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. Hey, it looks like we got some grace up here. That's what I'm looking for. T 
touch grace. Still sounds like an insult to me. Go touch grace. Sorry to anyone named Grace who might be out there. Um, oh yeah, so I picked up, oh, I picked up two. I didn't even realize that. Green spill crystal tear? Where that? Where did I get that? Temporarily boost stamina in mixed physique. Crystal tear forms slowly over the ages. The resulting concoction, okay. They all pretty much say the same thing. Increases the power of charged attacks for a certain duration. Uh, okay, so. I like the max stamina thing. I want to increase my max stamina. Oh, let the re-madness. Okay, so now I'm just going to explore around this castle, I think. Around the castle ground. Can't go this way. What does my map say? There's a beach down there. Ooh. I wonder what this is. A grave, maybe? Graveyard? You know what? I can place map markers. Why don't I do that? Okay. There's some wolves down there. Um, I have noticed a little bit of pop-in with this game. Every once in a while um, uh, things are not things are not rendered properly. So you'll get graphics that just sort of appear as you get closer to them. I think the most egregious one was that I was backing up into a tree and the tree didn't appear. So I just thought, oh, I can't move. I can't move backwards. Ooh. I just saw arrows or something right there. So this is probably not the way I want to go. Hey, dude. I wonder what their red eyes means. Are they buffed at night? more difficult to kill. Oh, there's some weird growths over there. Okay. I'm just going to come around this way. And nobody behind me. I always got to look behind you. It's that, it's that demon souls reflex that I have. Uh, okay. What's to my left? There's no other grace to my left. I am going to pull out my spyglass, though. Yeah, it's kind of weird, moldy-like growths on dead trees. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. Yes. Yes, it is, random player. Can't go that way. <sighs> hmm. There's got to be a way into the castle that isn't just that main road, right? Oh. It's not going to be that. I might just have to like run through that way, but I kind of want to. I want to take a look at the map marker that I made as I get closer to this field. Yep, it's popping in, and I was right. It looks like a graveyard. With a couple of wolves guarding it, and some shinies. Oh, a lot more than a couple wolves. Can I summon my own wolves? I don't think I can.
That works pretty well, actually. He's probably too far away for that to work. Yeah. Golden rune. Thin beast bones. Golden rune. Golden rune, golden rune. I'm a grave robber now. That's what I do. Anything else here? Nope, nothing else. Well, there's another golden one right there. Almost dead. I clearly do not know how to fight on horseback properly. Oh, they counted as a group. That's cool. There's another rune up here. Golden rune. And there's more wolves. I wonder if they're guarding something. kind of whimpered as it died and that made me feel bad for killing all of them. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to try and hit the triangle. I got to train myself to hit the triangle button whenever I see that acquire materials thing pop up on the screen. Sorry. Sorry, turtle. Okay, I don't need to replenish anything unless I just want a little bit of health. So, I don't have enough to level up, so I'm just gonna try to go up this way, I think. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope I'm not bothering you. Golden Seed. Holy shit. That is 
not what I expected to have to run into. Got him, wow. Oh, I'm like reflexively changing my right hand weapon. Pumpkin Helm, Sanctuary Stone. Godric Soldier Gauntlet, Blood Rose. I got a lot of things to look at. Blood Rose, blooms in blood-soaked soil, particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood. Glory to his inevitable reign. Uh, golden Seed, when the Elder was shattered, these seeds flew from the earth tree, scattering across the various land, as if life itself knew that its end had come. Increase a Sacred Flask's number of uses. Nice. And then I got the Pumpkin Helm. Reduces damage from headshots and impacts. Very heavy and very hard. The inside of the helm is pitch black, keeping the crazed warrior within from panicking. Perhaps the rather roomy interior also helps alleviate feelings of pressure and claustrophobia. 12 pounds. Okay, I'm just going to put it on really quick. Pumpkin helm. <laughs> okay. Back to the prisoner helm. Are my doggies following me? It's like a big dead thing right there. Oh, don't fall. There's two of these guys. Nice! Did not expect that. Okay. Fort Height. Fort Height, excuse me. Oh boy. like a trapped area if there ever was one. Oh! Death! 
That I did not expect. <laughs> I wonder if the pumpkin helm guy stays there. <sighs> oh, you know what? I have that seed. I could upgrade my flask, right? Flask. Use sacred tier. Do I have a sacred tier? Increase the amount of hit points replenished by your flask. Add charge. Use golden seed. I have a golden seed. Add the charge. I... No sacred tier in inventory. Okay. I think that's probably good. And I don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any of those. So, yeah. My only concern is that maybe the pumpkin helm guy returns. Oh, he does return. Oh, and all of these guys have aggroed on me. So let me see if I can lose their aggro by coming over here. I don't think I can, but. If I can get up into the castle, I could probably recover my runes. Oh, I can't use... Covered my runes. Hey! Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> I dodged too soon. Well, now I know I can get up there. I just. Uh... <laughs> what time of day is it? It's morning. Great. It is very bright. <laughs> the, the sun is shining and everyone can see me. So they will all be able to aggro on me. Okay. Just gonna go straight this way. See if I can pull them off of the stairs. Once the pumpkin helm guy comes down and is off the stairs, I'm going to go up. Oh, I might have to, uh, might have to circle around here. Yeah. Going up. my runes and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here ah uh -huh. yep he's gonna kill me <laughs> shit okay I have never felt incentivized to do something at night, but now I do feel incentivized to do something at night. <laughs> they shooting. Okay. 
You go back to the oh, row of fruit. Go back to the grace, move time forward, and try it again. Oh, I don't have enough to level up. I'm really close. Probably didn't need to use that many, but whatever. Yeah, 800 too many. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to start increasing my strength, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to pass time until nightfall. <whistles> do, 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 do. Attacking the castle by myself. I am crazy. So I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> pretty sure I can lose their aggro. Yeah, not all of them even noticed I was here. So I could probably sneak up there without any of them knowing I'm here. Oh, he dropped something. Godric Soldier Helm. I think I already picked one of those up. I can't help it. If I, somebody's back is to me, I just want to shoot them. Okay. I might use a different group here. I don't know if that would actually be beneficial. I might use these guys here. Okay, but I am gonna run up. Not destroy that. Okay. Wow, one hit with magic killed that guy. I'm dead. Oh, didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Uh, why do I keep crouching? Aha! That is not what I want to do. Okay, go back up, go back up. Oh, is he trapped down there? <laughs> Ash of War, Bloody Slash. Nice. There's some other stuff up here too. Oh, those are my guys. Okay. 
<laughs> blood rose. There's a lot of these blood roses. Well, I just hope those guys don't disappear. They keep damaging themselves, and I don't know why. Dectus Medallion left. Join medallions to operate grand lifts of Dectus. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erd tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the grand lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Lunaria. Lunaria? Lunaria? Whatever. The right half is said to reside in Fort Ferreth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. That must be what that place is over there, the Dragon Barrow. Okay. I'm going to go down. Oh, I really hope those guys just don't like jump down. Okay, they teleported. Wow. Oh, I don't need to do that. I got one guy left because they all got blown up by something over here. Oh, I think I recovered. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. I think I recovered a health thing from that. <sighs> Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Blood Grease, Blood Bone Arrow. I'm going to guess that Blood Grease adds uh, bleed damage to your weapon. <laughs> Makes sense, right? I don't think there's anything else here. There is more. Look at that. I almost missed it. If I hadn't double checked, I wouldn't have come this way. And the little shiny smithing stone. I don't. Oh, somebody's gotten over there because there's messages there. There's probably not anything over there, but that doesn't mean that there isn't. Treasure chest ahead. Really? I don't know if I believe that. So, I have been playing a lot of Demon Souls the last couple of weeks, and in Demon Souls, you can, uh, you can pause the at well on the PlayStation 5 remake. You can pause the action to move the camera around and get a better view of things. Sometimes you can't do that right now, and um, behold, I did it. Oh, look at that! I, that demi-human is softening, softening that guy up. He's doing a lot of damage to him too.
I am amazed. I can't believe that the demi-human killed that guy. That looks like a werewolf. Bloodborne feels. Oh, there's some more. Blood rose. Oh, could this be an item? No. Okay, I'm gonna search the other side of the castle. I just wanna take these guys out pretty quick. Oh, Lord Swan's bolt. Sanctuary stone. I don't know what a sanctuary stone is. I want to look that up. It's not one of these things. <sighs> Smithing stone. Man, I, oh, it's it's a crafting item. A rare piece of stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. It feeds and strengthens the light as it shines. Okay. There's a burb there. Mushroom. Mushroom or mushroom. Ooh. There is nothing here. You lied to me. Yeah. Sorry, I just moved the camera around because I'm I'm looking. I wanna find all of the things. Oh, well, I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything else. No secret passage. Trina's Lily. I got a second one. I got a cliff to jump off of if I ever want to jump off of one. Erdly flower. And I have gone completely around. Okay. So now I want to head back to that Kenneth Height character. He is here. So for the most part, I'm going to follow the road and just head back to him. If I can find the road. Am I on the road? I am not on the road. <laughs> Here's the road. Hey guys, how's it going? wolves again. There's a ruin there. And that means I should be going near the bear that's sharpening its claws. Right there. Right on cue. What is that? I'm going to get too comfortable with that bear just like sharpening its claws. And then at one point it's probably going to attack me and Oof, bats. Am I going the right way? I'm going the right way. I don't want to rest. I don't want to rest at Grace before I get back to Kenneth Height. I want to have killed all the guys in his castle before I 
get back to him. I'm gonna avoid the giant over there. Let's, I think that might be the next thing that I do is go fight the giant because I wanna see if they respawn. <laughs> you know, assuming I can kill it. <laughs> I don't know if I can kill it, so. Did it go away? It went away. Okay. Steel dagger. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Lindgren. Have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, oh, yes. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Earth Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Hmm. Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. I shall hold the ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Earth Tree blessed. Right then, time for life much to do. Right then. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh. I've got a little buff, it looks like. Well, if he's trying to be friendly to the demi-humans, it seems um, counterintuitive to uh, fight them now, even though they are likely uh, going to continue to be hostile. I'd be kind of curious to see, I'm just going to teleport here, be kind of curious to see if uh, he stays active, because I, I don't feel like I entered a faction or anything like that. Oh, and I've lost the buffs. Which is what, I, oh, no, maybe I didn't. But I don't have, like, the shimmering buff that was around me. What do I need to level up? I need about 800 more. You know what? I have runes. Eight hundred. Yep. Yeah, I think endurance before strength, I think. Having more endurance, I think, is better. And then... Grobside Cave, Church of Ella. It's weird, there's no... There's no light shining out of this to lead back to Stormvale Castle.
Oh, I can't... I can't summon anybody. I gotta fight this giant on my own? did anything. I got him! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> and now to see if he responds. <laughs> He does respawn. Okay. Well. That's too bad. <laughs> I was really kind of hoping he didn't. I'm going to teleport back to the Church of Ella, actually, because I, uh, I want to see how many smithing stones I have. And then I think... Uh, I think I'm going to take a break, because... I've been playing for almost three hours now. Huh. Oh, okay. I need four to upgrade the club. I only have two. So this just shows me what I can upgrade. Or it shows what I have equipped. Okay. Quality a stock. Um, I might apply my other Ashes of War to my club. Stamp. Stamp. Sweep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm kind of curious now if I can put... If they changed it, because... Look at that! You can two-hand a bow if it's in your left hand. That changes everything okay every time I put on this shield I get that it boosts focus hmm doesn't really say anything else Oh, it regenerates focus faster. That's what it does. Ah, it's always a pleasure. About the howling in the mistwood. Howl in the mistwood, I suppose. 
seems he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Finger snap. Interesting. Okay. Do I have anything to purchase from you? I don't think I do. Um, I am going to buy those cracked pots, though. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the the Erd, Erd steel dagger with a grass crest engraved on its blade, carried by the Erd tree royalty for self-defense. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Interesting. My faith is my lowest stat, so there's no way I'm ever going to use this weapon. At least not right now. I'm never going to use a crossbow, so bolts are just always going to go for sale. And I think that's it. Yeah, you're welcome. And I'm about 400 away from being able to level up. I did, I did say that I was going to take a break. I have chores to do around the house, so I... Okay. I don't, didn't have the option to talk to Mel Melina, and I really wanted that. I think... I, I'm not going to explore every square inch of Eastern Limgrave, but I think I have explored enough. Well, it still takes four attacks. Earlier it was taking five, but... Um, I think I'm just going to... get the runes that I need to level up one more time, and then rest near Stormvale, that Stormgate. Oh, he saw me. Well, oh, didn't get the parry. guy's gonna see me too, probably. Oh, there's a skull on the ground. Mushroom? Mushroom. Okay. So, I do have chores to do around the house. I think I am going to take a break right now, and then I'm going to go through this gate, gate front, when I come back and see what's up ahead. And, yeah. Well. Thank you very much for watching. I got to